Are you listening? Welcome to the Nerf Report. My name is Bryant. And for today's episode, I know it's officially November and spooky content is strictly for October, but I wanted to talk about games coming back from the grave. And what I mean by that is there seems to be this trend in video game commentary that insists that if a game is flawed at launch or is not among the current zeitgeist, well, that the game, well, must be dead. And probably the best example of this is No Man's Sky. Following the launch of that game, so many people were so quick to say, No Man's Sky is dead. The game's got no future, you see. I'll tell you, it's the biggest flop in gaming history. And yet, a little more than four years later, the game is still being supported by its developer, Hello Games. And look, I don't want this to turn into a debate about how games shouldn't launch half-baked, but I do think it's becoming extremely interesting to see how quickly gamers are to write things off as being dead. I mean, games like Destiny 2, Battlefield 5, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Fallout 76 are all considered dead games among the internet gamers, despite the fact that developers are still supporting the game and clearly ignoring the fact that, well, if you sign on to the game, there are still people playing them. Like, personal story real quick. I, I recently signed into Star Wars Battlefront. Not to, uh, I think it was the original one from 2015, and people are still playing that game. And the same goes for the original Destiny. Like, it blows my mind how many people I still see actively jumping back into the original game. And I think that we as gamers are so quick to think that if a streamer is no longer playing the game, or if our friend groups are no longer talking about the game, then it must be dead. But that is definitely not the case. In fact, personally, you know, when I think about like Xbox consoles, I would think that the Xbox 360 is probably dead. You know, we have the Xbox One and we're going into the Xbox Series X and S, so who is still playing an Xbox 360? But that is where I would be wrong. Phil Spencer recently told Game Reactor that we still have millions of people that log into Xbox Live on Xbox 360. Millions of people. That is insane to think about. But I guess where it kind of leaves us is this idea that the term gaming is like an evolving phrase. Nowadays, you can pretty much game anywhere on a bus, a plane. We are no longer confined to our homes. And from a game's perspective, we have dozens of games releasing every single week. So the line of where and how and what you are playing is no longer so easily defined. It's a brave new world for video games. A world that is clearly filled with dead video games. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Well, this is awkward. I'm just gonna stare at it. Gonna hit it. Click the button. Click it. What are you waiting? Click the button!